As the middle grade graphic novel market has blossomed, it's been super fun seeing cartoonists from the wild world of our alternative and indie comics entering the field. Uh, Zach Soto is a welcomed and exciting addition uh, to this ever-growing landscape of kid-friendly storytellers. And his new book, Power Button, The First Invasion, from Learner Books Graphic Universe imprint, should, if there's any ounce of good left in this universe, make a big splash. You'll probably recognize Zach from his awesome work in The Secret Voice, uh, and he's been a, a positive presence and promoter in the indie comics community as a podcaster for Process Party and In This Issue for the past few years. In Power Button, The First Invasion, we follow 10-year-old Kaz Savage and his cousin Truly Thursday as they navigate the often confusing world of tweens, as I guess they're called now, um, while unknowingly stumbling into an ancient battle of intergalactic supremacy. The Galactic Horde Empire has its cyclopean eye set on the backwater planet known as Earth, believe it or not. Uh, and the cousins uh, uncover and must learn to master uh, their newfound ability to summon our planet's only hope of defeating them. The mysterious Omega Knight, Trin Cyclo. I'm a fan of Zach's work, obviously, so I expected to like this book, but was was surprised and delighted to uh, actually really get into it. Uh, the book is great for kids, uh, but there's so much so much there that an adult of distinguished taste and temperament uh, can can really dig into it as well. It's about 200 pages long, and it kept me hooked into finishing it in one go. Uh, and as you can probably tell, I get distracted. Uh, pretty easily. It's got it all, really. Um, a diverse cast of characters that you want to learn more about and are excited to go on this adventure with. A great backstory that offers tons of avenues for the reader's imagination to travel down. Uh, like, well, what on earth is going on with Uncle Lucky? This book is volume one and, and lays the groundwork for so many opportunities for story exploration. The artwork is dynamic and so full of energy. Once the action picks up, it all just flows so well. It suits all of the bombast and mania to a T. This book looks like it was so much fun to make, and it reads that way too. It's the kind of comic that uh, makes you want to make comics. A fun little thing happened to me when I was when I was reading this book. Uh, sometimes I'll put on a, what a, a zone wave core synth playlist or whatever uh, to help put me in the mood while reading uh, as, as normal people do, right? Uh, and I did so while, while reading while reading Power Button. Um, I don't remember much about the playlist um, as I was, I was really wrapped up in the, in the great story, uh, but there was a moment that matched up so perfectly to what I was reading. It gave me goosebumps. The music started to build in anxiety and intensity. Uh, with the action as the Galactic Horde Empire's attack uh, was raging on Earth. And I kid you not, uh, it, it crescendoed as I turned the page to reveal Trin Cyclo and all his cosmo-heroic glory arriving to save the day. It was perfect. If this book sounds cool to you, or if you've read it and, and dig it, um, I'd suggest hunting down Zach's 2015 Power Button Number Zero from Study Group Comics. It's sort of a prequel mini comic that just gives a little, a little more background to the history of the Cosmic Knights uh, and helps paint the world of Power Button in a slightly different tone. Uh, it adds all that depth uh, that we all love so much. So Power Button, The First Invasion, uh, I, think, I think your kids will like it. I think you'll like it. Um, I cannot wait for volume two because I gotta find out what's going on with Uncle Lucky. Look at him!